Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. Art Snack is that time of day when we take just a short break from our hectic schedule to talk about art. Remember to hit that subscribe button for daily and consistent content. Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. Art Snack is that time of day when we take just a short break from our hectic schedule to talk about art. My name is Jenny Lind James, and I'm an artist who enjoys painting dancers, singers, and musicians, and making them come alive on the canvas. With me today, is Zahira Truth, multifaceted artist all the way from Boston, Massachusetts. Hello, Zahira. Hello, my friend. How are you today? Fine, thank you. And thanks so much for joining me today on Art Snack. Now, Zahira, please tell the viewers a little bit about yourself. How did you get started as an artist? My name is Zahira Nur Truth. And I have always loved art, any kind of art, as long as I can remember. Yeah. So for me, um, art is very vast. That looks like makeup, that looks like beautiful hair, um, that looks like nails. Um, I'm really into things that are associated with, like, with the divine feminine. But what I really remember about art is I had an aunt who was really good at coloring. And I know you're like, oh, coloring is not a big deal, but... Being really good at coloring is actually a skill that we take for um, um, for granted. And just yes. look at right now how many people are doing adult coloring books, right? Yes, yes, so that's a thing. <laughs> my aunt back in the day used to color as an adult in coloring books for kids. And my mother also used to make me and my sister, I have a younger sister, and um, and I think of this cute girl when I'm reminiscing of this moment, but my mother used to draw us pictures. So what that looked like, it was like she would take the Simpsons and make them black. Um, she would also, back then, um, this is like the 80s, 90s, we had a clothing line called Cross Colors, and my mom would draw kind of these cross-color clothing onto like Bart Simpson and his friends. She was really into like Public Enemy and stuff like that. So I had that kind of influence. But yes. I remember in like elementary school, um, drawing pictures of myself or just drawing pictures of things that I like yes. and people would ask me to draw for them and so I remember that but somewhere along the way I was like you know what I really want to be an artist it wasn't until I got to junior high school high school that I found the work of Georgia O'Keeffe she's a watercolorist okay, and water yes. and watercolor is my very first love you can probably see a few of watercolor okay, in my wonderful. background um, I'm still tried and true to that but my experience as an artist has, has shifted in many ways over the years mm -hmm. but I would say once I got to um, junior high school high school I come from a southern black family I was raised by my grandparents and an artist wasn't a real job so I had to go get a oh. real job and I had to go to school and guess oh, it's what it's the same thing in many so well and, it would be my and, Caribbean and, heritage and none thing. of those and none of those things um involved art. I'll tell you when I became an artist, when I realized I really was an artist, and I don't know what it was about this experience, but I became a mom in my, um, I guess, early 20s, and I was a stay-at-home mom, and I had a lot of time. You got a lot of time when you're a stay-at-home mom. Okay. So my, my son was maybe three months old, and you know, he's not doing much. You're just showing them love and changing their butts and feeding them and talking to them and reading to them. It's different, right? Yes. And I said, oh, I got some time today. I'm going to paint. And in that moment, something about that, being home with him and taking that moment to paint, I will say I've probably been painting ever since. Okay. And I haven't started. That's yes. when I realized that I had a real passion and a real love for art. Yes. But the love came from that experience. Right, that right. Sense. So here, please show us a few samples of your work. 
I would love to show you a few samples of my work. How's that? Beautiful. Yes, yes. So tell me, what um, was the thought process in creating this? So this is one of those images that I shared when I was a stay-at-home mom. This painting is probably about 17 years old at this point. Okay. And I, because I know, back then I knew a little bit about art, I was thinking like, you know, how can I make this into a collection? Can, you know, can this be a series? So this is one of four images that are similar yes. um, of, of women's faces. Okay. Let's see another um, piece of artwork that you've created. Sure. Ooh, beautiful jewelry. Yes, this, so thank you for sharing that I'm a multifaceted artist because this is one of my favorite pieces. I'm really big into um, learning more about African culture yes. and um, African heritage. I don't know if I have ancestry in West Africa, but I know my people came from Africa and that's important to me. So I try to learn as, as much as I can. And I feel like some of these Adinkra symbols, which are part yes. of the West African tradition are important I to me. Try. So this is handcrafted made of copper. I've cut it and texturized it myself. And this particular symbol stands for mother earth. And this is, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is what is the symbol called? It is called the Asaya Ye Dora. And I might be saying that wrong, so please give me some grace. I did my um my DNA um genealogy test, if you could call it that. And I do have 30% Ghanaian heritage. So it, it oh this my speaks, goodness. This piece speaks to me. You know, it was 40% Nigerian and 30% um, Ghanaian and a few other um, West African countries. So when I visited Ghana, you know, I felt like I was at home because a, mm -hmm. a significant chunk of the ancestry is from that region. So I, I love this piece. Thank you for sharing it. Thank you. So let's see another one. All righty, <clears throat> let's see what I have here. All right, so this is what, I feel like this is a fun piece. This was kind of inspired by some of the things my mother used to share with me growing up. I'm a big Simpsons fan. Yes. And so this is Apu, one of the characters for the Simpsons. He is a Southeast Asian store owner and clerk. And so the reason why I have this I'm a man um, in the background is because that came from the same imitation strike where black men were not being treated fairly regarding their jobs and also there's a correlation between some of the history that southeast asian people have experienced that is similar to some of the oppression that black people have experienced right. so that's why i kind of put these two images together yes yes i remember that character well from the simpsons <laughs> and this is acrylic on wood okay thank you So, this looks like watercolor. It is watercolor. Okay. And this piece is very special. This piece is very special to me. Um, this is watercolor. It's, if you look closely in the background, you'll see another image. So this is watercolor that has been enhanced with some digital elements. It's two okay. pieces that I put together. And this is from a series called Love is Love. It embraces the stories of what we think love is and love isn't. And this is to um, women um, holding each other in an intimate embrace. Yes, yes. Beautifully done. I love the delicate colors. Thank and is you. this also part of a series that you did in the past? Yes. This, this series is called the Love is Love Collection. Okay. Thank you for sharing. No problem. Speak on it. So word art. Sometimes I get really big into text art. I Text art is tricky how to um, display it. So this is um, easy cut, also known as lino cut. So a form of um, what we call block cutting. Yes, and, yes. And so this is um, 
on some really bright fluorescent paper. And this is water soluble ink that I use, but um, this was at a time, I made this during like maybe the middle of the pandemic where we would experience a lot of flux with like feeling like our voices were being oppressed. And I just feel like, you know, if I see something, I need to speak on it. So all right. of these lines surrounding the lips is kind of like that vibration of energy when you speak up for yourself. And I like how you use the words to form the lips. Mm -hmm. I, ag I agree. Um, there are several artists that kind of use words to represent the figure or bodies. So it's kind of paying homage to, to some of that work that I've seen. Yes, yes. It's very, so, very interesting piece. So this particular piece, um, I think of a group of Black artists called Afri Kroba. Yes. Um, and they kind of did a lot of printmaking and collage and just combining text in their work. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, and what does this image represent? This one is very special to me. I created this um, last year because I felt like there wasn't enough art that was speaking to the Black male experience. Yes. Um, that's, that's just my opinion. I could totally be wrong. I see like we see a lots of beautiful pieces that represent Black women, and I've there, okay. There's definitely a place for us, but I wanted to offer something for Black men. So what this is, is two masculine hands holding a baby boy. Okay, yes, this, yes. This is, called, this is called Black Boy Joy. And if you notice, there's like some sparkle, some magic coming out of his hands. And so yes. what that represents is that father's love allows that boy to create magic in the world. Right, right. Lots of great um, symbols here in this piece. And this is a digital illustration. Oh, it's digital. So mm -hmm. you really experiment with all types of um, art in your practice. <laughs> I do, yes. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for showing us some, some uh, I would say, representation of all the types of art that you can do. <laughs> So tell the viewers where, uh, what projects you're involved in these days. What's coming up for you? Okay, so um, it's as you know, it's Women's History Month, and I was just recently invited to share a couple of pieces that I'm working on that will be um, digital, maybe some acrylic paintings for a women's history focused event in Boston. Okay. At a local business called Scope HQ. So I'm excited about that. Yes course because the weather is shifting here in Boston and we're heading into spring we are entering into vending season yes. so um, this weekend I'll be vending um, at Nubian Gallery in Nubian Square here in Roxbury Massachusetts and I'm okay. very excited about that and later in the month I'll be doing a women's history event um, at the Cambridge Galleria Mall so I'm excited about that as well so those are the things that I have. So you will be now. quite busy for the rest of March. <laughs> I sure will. <laughs> Great. And then um, for those viewers who are far away, how can they see more of your work online? Yes. So for those um, that would like to find me online, there's a couple of different ways you can do that. My website is ZNTArts.com, and I'll spell that for you. So that's Z like zebra, N T arts arts.com and then on facebook you would also find me at znt arts dot excuse me znt arts as well on social media my i'm on almost every single social media platform but the ones that i like use the most is instagram i i love i particularly love instagram yes. i'm also on twitter and i'm new to tiktok so on all three of those you would find me under the same name and I'll spell that for you. It's da, not the, but da. So it's D A. Okay. Artist A R T I S T, and then my initials Z N T. Z N T. Okay. So I'll put all this information here on the screen so the viewers can find you. Well, that's, that's all we have time for today. Thank you so much, uh, Zahira. Enjoyed speaking with you and learning about your work. I've enjoyed speaking with you too. And thank you for the opportunity. It's been a pleasure.
Yeah, so viewers can find my work too at jennylindjames.com backslash art and also on Facebook and Instagram at art by Jenny Lynn James. That's art by Jenny Lynn James. I also invite emerging artists to sign up for my new workshop, Artist DIY, Helping Emerging Artists to Succeed. So information will be in the description box. Remember to hit the subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button to get alerted when we have new talk with a new artist.